I believe that purchasing Chlorella vulgaris, a species of unicellular free-floating algae, was definitely worth ten dollars. I used it to seed the three green water cultures on the right and the instructions said to add an air stone. I wasn't too sure about that because my Daphne and Magna cultures do fine without them. However, I didn't want to lose my seed cultures, so I did go ahead and add two air stones to two of the jars and just left the other two unaerated. It appears to me that the unaerated jars are doing just as well. It's difficult to tell which cultures are the greenest as the light is hitting them differently. But now that I have loads of green water with the preferred species of free-floating algae for the Daphnia magna, I can feed green water to Daphnia magna and should get an explosion of live food for my fish. Now I added the Daphnia magna and various plant clippings to one of the green water cultures and restarted the two unaerated green water cultures topping them off with the chlorinated water so in some time the Daphnia and the new culture should devour the Chlorella vulgaris and reproduce very rapidly. As you can see, blackworms also continue to thrive in some of these Daphnia cultures. I keep them going on brown paper, a type used as packing material or to make brown paper bags. It's important to ensure that the paper does not contain any toner, which could poison the cultures. After a week, the Daphnia have largely devoured the Chlorella vulgaris and the population has exploded according to Google it takes two weeks for a Daphnia magna at a regular temperature say 72 degrees maybe 70 To reach adulthood, it does appear that the seller was right about Chlorella vulgaris. It is best to add an air stone to the culture. The two cultures on the left have air stones. The one on the far left is the greenest. The one in the center, although it has an air stone, isn't quite as green. But the one on the right, I merely stir that once a day the seller recommends putting a lid on the jar and shaking it vigorously once a day. But I think unless the algae are kept suspended in the water column, they tend to settle. And so the culture that is not aerated is not doing as well as the other two.